Thank you, that. Oh, here's a big oh, one. That's goodness. massive. This is La Source. That's where the engine is on board. Oh, dear. That's finished. That <laughs> is, um, that's very second. It's, it's the same sort of performance. It's difficult to see from here. It's but hard it's, to uh, tell. It's pretty. But it's rude. big, and I'm just, I'm just fearful for I the I think driving. it is, actually. I think you're right. I it think looks it like someone's had total brake failure. That's La, La Source, is it? Or... Well, the back end's no, gone Better down. to have the back end muller no, than the front, because yeah. you've got the big engine there between trainer. the driver and the back, isn't it? So. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, that's a heavy one, certainly. We don't see the driver. He must well, be out open, already. I assume he's out. He must be out already. Oh, I hope so. That Just is finished. Anxious moments, but uh, that was one big hit. Let's take a no, look. It's not, not the source. Where are well, we looking at? It's uh, The ambulance is a matter of course. Is, is a where is that? That it's after uh, Rivage again? It's just before Blanchimont, isn't it? No, it is. Oh, yeah, yes. This is Stavolo, isn't That's it? That's the exit of Stavolo. Exit of Stavolo, yeah. Stavolo 2, yes. This is where the old customs house used to be. Good job they moved it. <laughs> well, it is. No, it's uh, a fairly quick corner. Uh, Stavolo yeah, 2 is, is not uh, slow. This is uh, not too serious. It is a matter of course to uh, <clears throat> bring in the crew. And. Uh, it's just uh, hope nobody's injured. Where here. is the driver? He must be off to the He's side. He's obviously gone over, over the wall, hasn't he? I, and, uh, I think he, they've actually managed to take well, him out and uh, deal with him. Let's have a look. I don't know. They're running to him. So they are. He's, it's um, not ideal. No. That is a fast. To be honest, they, they don't well. bring out the stretcher if unless you need it. Yeah. So that's not. We're just trying very to spot nice. which car that is at the moment. We haven't. Uh, I think it is the IMSA performance yeah. car. I'm pretty sure. That was the car that was running third in. Uh, third in class with um, Raymond Narak on board. Now, this car, if it was the IMSA performance car, they got knocked off towards the end of the race in Valencia. Uh, had a huge accident there with Raymond Narak on board, and he went into oh, one no, of the concrete barriers backwards when they were second in the category and uh, knocked off by an LMP2 car. Well, um, keep your fingers crossed. Uh, we've got uh, no pictures at the moment uh, being offered. And until we know that the driver is OK, uh, we won't be showing them, that's for sure. Uh, but well, the Porsche bodywork is it's a very, very strong car. And Porsche's done a good job yeah. to make those cars hugely durable. So we'll hope that, that he's all right with, you know, along with the Hans device and all the all the safety devices nowadays. Most drivers are OK after a shunt like that. So we'll if, hope that he's all right. Yeah, if that, and if that was the only impact that the car took, then it's, um, you know, mm. there's a lot between you and whatever you hit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Right, we just, uh, just had a message from Johnny Molam telling us about his race. Um, Johnny's uh, currently running 10th in uh, the GPC Sport Ferrari in LMP, uh, sorry, in GT2. Gabriel Rosa in the car at the moment. He said what happened. He got a three minute stop and go penalty when he was running fourth because um, he went wide at Blanchimont. He had to use the runoff to get out of the way of one of the Peugeots. And then the next thing he knew, he'd uh, got on the marbles and slid off over the white line. Got a three minute Such top a long go for stop. that. Now that does suggest that it happened more than once, doesn't it? <laughs> uh, they, perhaps. <laughs> but it's dropped him down to 10th place. Uh, be unfair, says Johnny. And uh, well, why not? He's British, so we'll give him the benefit of all of that. So they're having quite a hard job coming back. They're now four laps down on the leader. Oh dear. I'll struggle to get that back. Not, yep. not enough time left, is there? Especially four laps around Spa is a lot longer than four laps around Lime Rock or something, isn't yeah. it? So. Yes, yeah, it, it is the IMSA performance car because Raymond Rack is dropping down the order rapidly now. Mm, so. Uh, yeah, I thought it was. That's one of the course, one of the factory cars which he is sharing with Richard Leitz. He owns the car and it's run out of uh, the team's headquarters at, in Brittany. But uh, sad and, end. Uh, to, to deciding service. to pit here on yeah. the safety car is our leader. It's yeah, convenient car. for them, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And uh, very convenient as well that the sun has stayed with us today. Uh, we're going to be taking ourselves a short break in a moment during this safety car period. And uh, time to get the handiwork underway, clean that screen, and get everything else sorted out. Uh, they're allowed to clean the screen. It's a safety issue as well as uh, helping the driver change over. Uh, nobody else can work on the car until the fuel line comes out. And it comes, and immediately the air jacks start their work. The car goes up on its... Oh, he did hit the front as well. Big hit in the front. Yeah. Wow, that's that big. was a big one. That's huge. <laughs> now, what can you say from that? It looks like... The rear wing. 